do a quick video, quick walk around of this uh, 65 Chevy pickup C10 project that I picked up this weekend. I picked it up on Friday. It's a really solid little truck. It was originally a long bed. It has already been converted to a short bed. I looked underneath. They did use one of those brothers uh, kits. When you cut the frame, you put a C channel inside. You bolt it back together and then you weld it. There's a lot of good stuff going for it. They got a 350 700 R4. Um, a 350 motor and a 700 R4 transmission. They also did the five lug conversion on the wheels. Let me get away from this car and I'll tell you a little more about it. I got the Camaro in the background. She's running. So like I said, it's got a lot going for it. They did the five lug conversion, they did the disc brake conversion in the front. I gotta finish it up a little bit because they had a power booster in here already, but it was set up for drum and drum. Drum in the front, drum in the back. Um, that's a good little truck. It's really nice. Lights and everything work. It has a, oh, it has the tank in the bed already. So that's kind of cool. I like that. So there's not really much for me to do. What I would like to do is I like to lower it. And I've been seeing those uh, big window conversion kits, so that's just kind of something I've been wanting to do for a while. So I've never had the opportunity. So I got a good price on this truck. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Also gonna cover up this right there. But to be honest with you, other than that, there's not really much else to do. Uh, the truck around the celebration a little bit funny on it right now. Look at the interior, it's actually really nice. Get really nice little buckets, but they just bolted them in the stock places and they're kind of crooked. I, he told me that they're from a Nova, but I don't know. From the 65 Nova Super Sport, maybe somebody could tell me what they belong to because I'd rather have a bench seat. So maybe I could sell these, but I gotta know what they are so I can you know, price them or whatever. But anyways, all the gauges work. The aftermarket gauges anyways. So it's got the tamp, oil pressure, fuel gauge, those work. And I did see that the speedometer wasn't hooked up. So maybe I'll, you know, once I get it going, and then I'll check that out. Today I gotta clean up, gotta finish up what I'm doing on my 56 because I need the room in the garage. So that's gonna get pushed to the back again. But anyways, these wheels gotta go back. I want these wheels back, so. I don't have no wheels for it. He threw in some of those 22 by 9 transit transport wheels. They're really nice, but I can't use them because they're six lugs. So I sold those last night. And uh, I'll give me some money to try to find me some wheels. But I'm in I'm in no hurry. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do some things that I want to do that I think will make it look cool. And then uh, we put it out there for sale once it's done. It does have a clean California title. <clears throat> I already went ahead and started the process of like, just waiting on the pink stuff now. It's already registered in my name. But see, here's, it has the booster. Because he's telling me that this valve right here is for a drum from drum to drum, so I'm going to have to change that. I do have one laying around in the garage that's disc in the front, drum in the back. So once I put that on and bleed the brakes and everything, then I'll be able to do that. It has a 90s 5.7 motor, which is cool. They come with the cool thing about those is they come with the serpentine setup, so that's nice. I did think it had power steering when I saw the ad, but it didn't. As you can see, the pump is just circling around. That's fine. No big deal. And it does have a fan, electric fan setup. They have it wired straight, but we could take care of that. That's not a big deal. The wiring looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't look horrible. So there, it is taped up and out of the way. Yeah, man, this cool little truck. Let me see. What did I say? What did I like about it? Let me see if I forgot anything. The disc brake, five lug conversion tank in the back already converted to short bed so like I said yeah, it's got a lot going for it cool little truck I'm gonna try to do a cold start on it and then after that I'm gonna <coughs> move it over there and then continue to work on the F100 so I can get that done it is Mother's Day so I'm gonna be out here for just a little while and then I'm gonna take off Let's see Alright, first we gotta find the key. I think that's it. 
I'm gonna pump it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And give us a fire. <laughs> to show you guys this uh, CPP parking brake setup that I put on this F100. That's part of the things I need to do so I can bring it back on the ground. I don't want to go underneath it for a while. So anyway, this CPP universal parking brake setup comes with everything you need, really. There's a parts list of it. There's everything you need. The clips to clip onto your old setup. And then everything you need to bring it up to the front. And then you just attach it to your stock parking brake. Make sure you guys have worked out real quick. This is an old Corvette setup that I wasn't going to be able to to made it to the original one because it wasn't long enough and it just would have been more expensive to try to figure it out myself. So I saw this kid online. I saw another guy do a detailed video. There's a bunch of them out there of how to install it. So anyway, let me just show you guys a quick overview. See there's the clip. That replaced this original one. This clip here replaced this one. And where this used to sit, here on the caliper, it comes with that, you just bolts it right in there. It fit right in there, you didn't have to cut it or nothing. And you just route your, your wires how you need to, your cables. Route your cables how you need to. This one was a short one, so it just came up and over the frame, back over and then to this piece. Right there. The other one is the same, it's just a different route up and over this the drive shaft. So I wanted the drive shaft back over that way to the caliper, exactly the same. But what I think is cool is this whole setup right here that they give you. So your cables are going through here. See, so up into here, this is all CPP all the way to here. And then from there forward would be your stock setup, however you had it. This one, see right here, I didn't have any stoppers and this, this cable was already cut, stock cable, so I went and got one of these uh, little clamps or like U-bolts for cables in there. Just made a loop, put it to their side, and now it's set up. I'm just tighten everything up, and that's it. I put this piece of hose right here. It's just a radiator hose, and all that's going to do is I'm going to zip tie it to it so when it wobbles around, you don't hear all that clinking around. Could have been a little longer. Maybe I'll do something different, but for now, that's fine. Maybe even a pool noodle would work. I mean, nobody's going to see it, just to keep it quiet. Anyway, that way, you could have parking brakes. But more importantly to me, 
these emergency brakes. You just use your stock brake. Now you can't turn your wheel. See, look. And you release it. There you go. You can push your wheel. So, anyways, that's where we're at. I gotta clean up this mess. There. Get all these fenders and the running boards on the truck because I need this space. Like I said, the guy wants his wheels back. So I'm gonna take them off and drop them off tomorrow. And uh, just kick back today. I gotta find some wheels maybe during the week. So, anyway, that's where we're at. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.